Here I'm a close back and forth fight against the very game opponents, but ultimately you know, the way that the third round is over off from your hometown fans is a raucous way to start to get into the main card here. Uh, just talk us through your emotions right now after that win. I am, um, I'm over the moon to be honest. Start the crowd that was just unbelievable. As everybody knows, I bring the best crowd, and that is the truth. Um, I always sell a stream with post tickets. Because of the restrictions, I put us all more. Uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, you had it out there, you know, the whole lot of drop behind you. When I tell you, the whole lot of drop, honestly, like the whole lot of drop. And uh, from, where I'm from, drop again, you know. And Jim, Evan, all my sponsors, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, I'm just delighted. I, I think I heard of his losing on the scorecard, so to be honest, I thought I was winning, you know, I thought I was one apiece. I was winning the tour, I thought, you know, I'm going back. So I was glad to get the, glad to get the choke, you know. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask, it could lead into my second question. Like, what was the motivation after you've after you done 10 minutes with the guy, uh, you got off the stool, what was it in your head as you started as the first bell went to another round? Yeah, John said to me he was more than likely 1-1, um, and yeah, definitely wanted to go out there. I knew, I, I said to me, brother, I said to everybody, it's from your training, your confidence comes from your training, you know. No matter what you're thinking before or, or anything like that, you know, it's, 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 it's a physical sport, it's 90% physical, and the more you train and lead up to this, I knew that every spar I was having the later rounds was getting that I predicted it, you know, I said that I was gonna be in that whole round get the choke and I did. You're kinda of used to performing in front of pretty much nobody, right? Because you were all at the early, early parts of the prelims before and then no crowd in, in was it Milan or Paris? There was a little crowd, yeah. I might as well have known it wasn't like the early. <laughs> they were all clapping like it was all it was real. But it was real tonight, weird. tonight was, was something special for you. Yeah, and I wanna say this, you should have bumped me up to the main card. I mean, I'm, I'm the best support, yeah, and I always do, you know, they, sh they should have bumped me up there, I thought they should have, you know, maybe the next one they will, look, to be honest, I'm, I'm used to fighting with the IMAX, no one there, you know, if, 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 this is my 28th fight tonight, you know, I'm used to fighting anyway, you know, GA Halls, 10 years ago, <laughs> to now three ring at full, look, it was full there to me, but honestly, it um, doesn't bother me, but I'm about to be bumped up to the main guard the next one. That was a tough one out of for you. How long would you like to, to take out before you get back in? I'd like, um, hopefully, maybe, I don't know if I come back to Ireland, maybe get February, March. So I'd like that, to be honest. I'd like that. Kieran, a hard fall fight. Uh, Burns seemed to be landing a significant amount in the second round. Did you ever feel in danger? Um, no. I, like, he was landing hard, you know, and like, even that, like, I looked great in the replay his knee, you know, but it wasn't even that. It was just like a thick slip, you know. It uh, was once where he landed a right hand, and I don't even think he probably not knew that it was a hard one. <coughs> but that was a nice one. Uh, the, the elbows were actually quite nice. They were, they were nice and landed, you know. But um, no, it wasn't like, it wasn't on the uh, right legs around, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, yeah, you can take a fair one. You've talked about your pace and your grip before. Do you feel that's what won me the fight times? Yeah, just get in his face. Just, it's just, I mean, that's my style. I get in there, I just get in your face. Whatever you're trying on me, I try and move my head and I take what you're getting. And I, th I see them still across me. Every time I see them, I see, I see them breaking. I know about our body language. Right? That's every fight. I can watch all the fights from the only maps to now. I can see it in the, on the still. I can, and as I said, when you get in there, that's when you feel the pressure, you know? You're just looking at me and you're like, I'd imagine what it is, it's like, this was not going away, it's still coming at me. He threw the kitchen sink at me. Even on the bottom, I knew he was getting frustrated because he was like throwing them like, you know, whack it, you know, whack it in. I was like, that's a mental edge from me. I'm like, well, I know he's frustrated here. If that was me in the bottom throwing like that, it's not, you know, it's not, he's, he, he might win the scorecards about that, but for me, it was a mental game. And it was a, it was frustrated, you know? In the third round, he had your back and he was searching for the soul. Was he ever in danger there? I actually, I actually forget that. Um, no, <laughs> so obviously not. No. Um, yeah, I, and again, that's another thing. Let him think he's getting the back. He's going to get the choke. I know he's not. Just feel the grip. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I remember now you had a reverse and John Popkin. That's just a little mental battles in there that I know. Right, he's thinking he's getting the better. Now. I the upper hand, you know. And again, that comes from. Now in 30 fights now, experience in the gym and sparring, I told his lads, I sparring and Pedro Carvalho, Peter Quigley for the fifth ball fight, Pavel, um, forget the second name, all these lads, Richie Smullen, like, I'm getting out of the toughest round, so I might win there and I might, I know I'm prepared, I've done the toughest round, so this is just another day to be honest. You're still in the feeling now, 4-0 you've made to, 
Is there anyone on the roster that you line up that you want to fight next? No, no, I don't even think. To be honest, this is the third opponent that will get for me, um, and I said yes to them all. So we'll see, we'll see. What's so whoever they put in front of me, obviously yes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not where I am to. I'm building up to to get to the belt or whatever the bigger, the big show I'm hearing. Them. You know, whoever they give to me, I thought you have to. You know what I mean? It's you're in the big leagues now. You know what I mean? You're, you're fighting, you're fighting top lads, you know. Kieran, congratulations. Uh, first thing I want to know is what sort of a hero's welcome will uh, welcome you home when you go back home to Rotterdam? Oh, stop, man. It's, <laughs> it's going to be mental when you go out there now. It's, um, I, I, it's unbelievable. It's more to get from the town. It's, um, you know, it's the biggest town in Ireland, but I mean, it's such a small community. Everybody knows each other and everybody gets behind you. The responses from head to toe, you know, I mean, this is all local. And it's, it's unbelievable it's more to get from but even when I was in there, I know it's probably, well, it's an extra reason, you know I mean? You're thinking, you know, you're in the moment, but then you're, you're here, it's it's an extra reason to go in there and get the job done, you know? And when you were in the third round, obviously you had it back for a very long time, uh, you had the body triangle in, were you very confident that you were going to get the finish? You no, know, I am. Um, as I said, I, I, don't, I, I didn't say it then, but I don't know, I might have said it in interviews with Dean Luck, but oh, yeah, yeah, second, third round, I, I thought I'd get the job. I, I knew he'd give his, give his all. He was tough. I knew he'd be fit. He'd be strong. He, was, he looked bigger than me. I mean, he, well, I felt stronger. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I knew the third round. As I said, I just got great people. You know what I mean? And uh, he was strong in the kitchen sink at me, as you can see. And he threw it all. And fair play to him. He was a tough lad. Six, one and one. Like he was, you know, like he was a tough lad. And uh, well, I knew. I knew I'd get the, I knew I'd get the third round show. And then we'll hear on Clark celebrate the biggest win of his career. Oh, I'm going back to the drop now tonight, and uh, to be honest, more I'm looking forward to a bit of grub, to be honest. <laughs> what get, the, you? get the super cod fish and chips down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Get the feud, no? Uh, Earth. <laughs> Don't be saying that, now. Earth, Earth. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Perfect. Nice. Thanks, Thanks for being